Today, we are ranking every single Battle Pass ever. All 12 seasons, every single thing that's in them. I mean, we're gonna skim through most of it because most of the Battle Pass stuff is kind of doo-doo, let's be honest. But you know, there's some good legendary skins in there. There's some good emotes. And of course, the reactive skins. I think that's like the cream of the crop when it comes to the value that you get out of it. So, should be a ton of fun, chat. Are you guys ready? We're gonna start with, of course, the Season 1 Battle Pass, AKA Wild Frontier. This is the first Battle Pass they had, and I've been playing since day one. And I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be like 110% with you guys. This battle pass is absolute garbage. You had this first skins that are all just like reskins. They're like, oh, we put face paint on our characters. Aren't we cool? And it's like, bruh. And you just got a bunch of reskins. Triple take reskin, hemlock reskin, prowler reskin. Everything's just like a slight reskin, but it's nothing like anything. There's nothing too special. And there's barely any legendary content on here. I don't think there's any legendary content except for the gun at the end. And on top of that, they're like earn over 100 unique items throughout the season. See that? But every five levels, you get this little marker thing, you know? Look at that. There's little marker things every five levels dude so it was pretty cringe people really hated it you get you would get like these every five levels you get this bonus thing over here see this little like skull looking thing that's like a bonus for your xp and stuff it's terrible dude season one was doo-doo garbage butter biscuits you know yeah and then they give you like the season one kills like as if that matters like you don't care about how many kills you got that i mean some people do but like i mean look at this you get this like one prowler skin it's like a purple prowler skin it's not even legendary cool uh look they don't even have 69 the absolute audacity to give you a stupid thing every five levels but not even give you a level 69 thing. I'm just saying. I would have actually cared about that. That would have been legendary to me. Yeah. Oh my god. There really isn't any legendary content. The one legendary thing you got is this. It's this. It's the Havoc skin. Do you see this, chat? What is that? It's not, not even It's not even worth it. Ugh, get that out of my face, dude. So season one, after looking at all of it, uh, easy F tier, dude. Absolute dog. So now let's move on to season two though, okay guys? Season two is what brought skydive emotes. So you see every single character has their own skydive emotes, which is really cool, but they're all just the same ones. Every single character just had a little spinny thing. They're like, oh, I spin around. It was honestly at the time, at the time when, when season two came out, this was actually really cool, okay? Because there was barely any cosmetics. The game was still in its infancy for the most part. This was hype, like I won't deny that. In retrospect, considering how elegant and how elaborate some of these skydive emotes we've gotten now are, these ones do seem kind of lame in general with the exception of Ray Rates. Rates is pretty freaking sick. And Octane's is pretty funny, like him running in the air. They showed the two best ones. But everything else is just them going like, yeah! But this time around, they actually gave us some pretty good rewards in the battle pass. Yeah, like for starters, you got the Spitfire skin. I forget what it's called, the like Intimidator skin, whatever. I think the, the Intimidator skin's fine. It's just, it's not, it's kind of a little bulky, but everything else is really nice. Like the recolors are actually nice because they're gold. They're, they're actually different. They're not just, we threw face paint on our characters. They golded them out and gold is nice. I mean, everything else is still pretty meh. And like I said, they're Sky Devon modes. That's the only like real big thing that was good. They added more crafting materials and they got rid of the uh, the badges, like the, the five, every five level badge thing because everyone complained about it. Yeah, I mean, it's good. You get some crafting materials in there. You get some other things. You got this really cool caustic skin, which is, I forget what this caustic skin is called, like the, the prince, the prince of darkness, I think is what it's called. I do think this is one of the better caustic skins that they released. And I love that it came in the battle pass. So like in general, like this battle pass is definitely a strong improvement overall. Like the, the actual rewards you got, all the sky of emotes, everything was really clean. And then I think, what was the reactive skin? Oh yeah. And then you get this Jade Tiger Octane. It's good. Not my favorite Octane skin now that I have so many of them, but at the time, it was really cool. In general, it's a much needed improvement. I actually hate this this R301 skin. So let's look at the season two reactive R301 skin. It's just this big rhino thing. And you know, it was really cool because you know, it's like a full on freaking rhino on your gun, right? But it's so bulky, terrible iron sights. And as you guys know, if you've seen my weapon skin tier list, which you guys all hated me for because you're like macro, you're basically just mad at the iron sights. Yeah, because the iron sights matter. And you'll see season three or season four, I forget which one has the flat line, but you'll see when we get to that flat line, how important it is and how ma how much it matters in this tier list, okay? Not the biggest fan of this R301 skin. It's good though, like I can't complain about it. Like it, it does look beautiful. Utility wise, I would not recommend using it, honestly. Where do we put this on the tier list? It's an improvement from season one. Is it that much of an improvement? Yes and no. Skydive emotes are definitely a big plus, but like they're overall two, three legendary skins, that's all you got. So I would put it somewhere in low B or high C tier. Honestly, considering that it only gets up from here, I'm comfortable putting it in C tier. I don't think it's D tier, I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's anything that you're like gonna tell your mom about, you know? So I think putting it in C tier is a fair assessment. Everything else from here on out is a drastic improvement. Speaking of which, let's get to season three meltdown. I guess we can watch the battle pass overview if you guys want. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, this is... Okay, this is the one with the Peacekeeper skin. This is the one with the Peacekeeper skin. Okay, okay. Complete with new daily and weekly challenges. XP boosts. Apex packs, 1,200 crafting medals, 
a thousand apex coins whoa okay and of course, all new legendary items season three's mix of daily and weekly challenges oh they added daily and weekly challenges that's pretty good that's pretty good if you miss a few weeks or start late your weekly challenges will still be around when you that man she's still out here single firing the the hemlock is that where that hemlock skin comes from the tron hemlock skin because i love that hemlock skin like high key Yo, thank you for the 100 bits, Glimpse. Thank you for the bits. The oh, and the snow. Okay, 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 okay. Including legendary items like the Iced Out Pathfinder. The Iced Out Pathfinder skin is fire. Speaking of style, we've expanded upon our latest content categories. With new music packs. New music packs, loading screens. Nice. Personalized skydive emotes. Nice. The Gibby, that Gibby skydive emote. You can't forget this face. Dude, the Skull Town Road skydive emote came out this season. Okay, that literally is gonna bump it up like crazy. And unique quips for the all new customizable quip wheel. Feel good. Allowing legends to bring their personality into this the they added quips nice that's when they added quips with season three nice combine all of that with the first ever they added gun charms this season okay okay this season's actually pretty solid this season's actually pretty great that comes with these more generic ish looking but they're still significantly more improved like the iced out octane the fired out like mirage skin like they're all matching the new map which is world's edge at the time i love weapon charms being added i think it's a big deal the problem with most of these battle passes is that they have a lot of these crap in between like oh look at this charge rifle skin Got the whole squad laughing. You know what I mean? Like, you just got, like, barely anything going on. Like, of course, there's, uh, there's always going to be epic skydive emotes. As you saw in the Battle Pass overview, Mirage has the Skull Town Road skydive emote where he rides his own clones. I'm gonna take my clones to the Skull Town Road. You know what I mean? Like, that's the vibe, right? So I think that's a big bonus. I do like the Iced Out Pathfinder skin. It had glitches when it first released, if I remember correctly. Like, it, every, it's good, but it's still, like, it feels like it's always lacking in, 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 in stuff. The charms are nice, but, like, I always felt like charms are just an extra way for them, like, spread out like not good content this is really good though this this lifeline skin some people don't like it some people think it's kind of gross looking i do think it's very very cool uh very hot i guess because literally because she's molten lava right um everything else is just like generic banners you're never gonna use generic skins you're never gonna use i thought the hemlock skin came in this one the but i guess not yeah these are everything else is still like besides like the legendary stuff uh, most of the stuff is pretty meh good i mean cool banner i mean there's a really cool like loading screens i do think that's like a big plus as well the raven little thing that's actually cute and let's talk about this peacekeeper skin this peacekeeper skin is actually really fire like i do like it i love that it comes in both blue and red see that like the frostbite is really cool and it comes in like red versions it's actually quite beautiful it's a bit bulky but i I don't mind because it's a shotgun like you don't need to aim like the iron sights aren't as important so i do i do very much love this one with that in mind where do you think season three meltdown should go chat oh man skulltown road really saves it but everything else is still pretty meh the shotgun's nice. I think eight tier is fair. I think season three's battle pass is, is an eight tier battle pass. Like it, it's a good one. Season three would have been a good time to start Apex Legends and start your buying career. <laughs> season four though, oh my god doesn't exist they don't have the actual like little side-by-side -side thing wow EA, ea really did stop doing that huh thank god for for apex wiki they know what it's about so you got the perfect soldier raid skin that's a banger skin the watson pink skin with her like see-through legs you got this lifeline skin it's like it's like a it's, these are all like regular default skins but they're, they're decent for being like not like uh legendary skins they look they're pretty decent this crypto skin is not too bad either yeah most of the skins are, are are fine i do love the perfect soldier skin the most cyberpunk just I, a lot of people really do like the cyberpunk skin Season four is S tier, not because of the legend skins. The legend skins are, are good though, don't get me wrong. But there's one thing in particular that's even better. And we'll I'll show you this trailer so you can see. So this R9, this R9 has beautiful iron sights. And the flat line is the best skin in Apex Legends, period. It is the skin that turns the flat line from, in my opinion, a good gun with terrible iron sights to the best gun in the game. These iron sights are, are absolutely stunning. And you think macro, it's not a big deal. It's just iron sights. Just iron sights, my dude? Just iron sights? These things are insane, man. And that's why like people are begging. They're begging for this skin to make a comeback, dude. Because it really is like a pay to win skin. Like the R9 skin, like while it is really good, there's other R9 skins that already exist in the game that you can purchase with credits and stuff that have really
really good iron sights. But this one was like pretty much a cheaper version of that because it came in the battle pass with the best flatline skin, period, dude. Like it's so hard for me to ever swap off this flatline skin because the iron sights are just so gorgeous, you know? Yeah, it really does make the difference between winning and losing in a gunfight. And it, it's it's a big deal. Um, let's see what else they got though. Mostly just generic crap that nobody cares about. Banners and stuff. Oh, the plushness monster, that's pretty cute. And then of course we got some sky emotes. Which sky emotes did we get? This one's, this is one of my favorite Skydive emotes. The selfie stick, man. That's like, Octane on the selfie stick is so sick. And also, that's also the same, this is also the, the caustic. Caustic writing, caustic writing is his gas canisters. That's freaking amazing, man. Yeah, overall, season four, definitely one of the best seasons in terms of battle pass, in terms of a pure content that you get. Easy S tier. I think season four assimilation is an easy S tier battle pass. Okay, that battle pass comes with two, not just one, two pay to win skins with the R9 and the flatline. It comes with the very, very fun, in my opinion, one of my favorite rate skins and a really cool Watson skin. It comes with pretty cool skydiving modes overall. Definitely S tier. Is it S plus? Uh, honestly, I don't think any of these battle passes are S plus because I don't think they ever improve at this point. They either on par with season four or, or worse. Worse, if that makes sense. And that's not saying that season four is like perfect. It's not perfect either. There's still like so much crap that I did not give a crap about. Like, let's look at it for a second. All this crap that nobody cares about. Like, this is why people hate battle passes because you get a bunch of nonsense. Like, what is this? It's caution tape. It's just yellow with extra steps. It's just red with extra steps. You feel me? Like, I'm not tripping when I say that. These are just waste of time. But like, I still think that S tier is, is a, it's valid for season four, for sure. Let's move on to season five though. Are you guys ready for some season five shenanigans? Okay, let's watch the battle pass overview real quick. You got bamboozled. This is, this is a pretty good Mirage skin though. I do, I do really like that Mirage skin. With the season five battle pass. Yo, high key. I, I know some people still are like all about the merciless wing vibe, but low key, this, this wingman skin is my favorite. I love this wingman skin so much. I use it all the time, dude. Is it the most pay to win skin? Surprisingly, no. Like, obviously, if you want to, if you really care that much, you rock the merciless wing, you rock like red rocket, whatever you want to rock, right? But this skin is so cool because when you kill people with it, it like spins and makes shifts and stuff. It's amazing. Featuring an adventurous new set of legendary oh, shoot, and it comes with this hemlock skin. My god. God. Season five actually coming in hot. You can look in for trouble, but trouble find your fast. Immediately unlock the legendary retro retrofitted hemlock. Purchase. This ha this hemlock is pretty sexy. I won't lie. Three new legend skins. These are pretty cool legend skins. Now they, from here on out, they like have like a theme, you know, like before they didn't really have like a theme of what they're trying to go for when it comes to designing their skins, but these skins are significantly better. This Mirage skin is great, by the way. I think this is one of the coolest Mirage skins. He's got that full beard going. It looks great. Rest of the rewards, including legendary items Fool's like Gold. Fool's Gold Mirage, Sky Marshall Bangalore, and the- Oh wait, that's the Karen Bangalore. I actually hate this skin. This Karen, the Karen hair. Look at that hair. Ah, oh, geez, not the Karen, not the Karen Bangalore. Precision but yeah, wing. this wingman is sick. Look, see, like there. So see how like it opens up and spins. It's freaking epic, man. It's freaking epic. Good with the bad. I'm good, and you're bad. As always, season five continues to let legends personalize their experience. Here's the music pack. The music pack is good. Music packs, loading screens, and I do like these loading screens a lot. Banners, themed banter for the quip wheel. You might steal me wrong. Oh, is that the, is the Watson skin one of the skins in, included in here? Because that's pretty great. I've seen ghosts around here. A new series of luxurious gun charms. And of course, a new batch of death-defying skydive emotes. Losing isn't fun. That's why I don't do it. Some of these sky, none, none of those sky, if, if the skydive emote doesn't immediately like spark joy, then it's like, then I, it's kind of forgettable, but they're they're good. They're good skydive emotes. It's not saying that they're not good skydive emotes. It's just like, there's a lot now. Honestly, overall, this battle pass is pretty solid. Normally, I don't, I don't like the banners that much, but these banners are actually an improvement. Like genuinely, these banners are a lot cooler. L let me just see the skins again. Yeah, the, for the most part, you just get this Mirage skin, which is really good. And the Karen Bangla skin, which is really bad. The wingman skin is insanely good. These wingman skins are phenomenal. And this is a good hemlock skin. Honestly, very, very good season. A little bit worse than season four overall. Nothing too memorable on the end in terms of their skydive emotes. Music is okay. Even some of their more common stuff looks a little bit better. Like, I mean, not, not necessarily that much better. I still think there's way too many. Like charms are cooler than, than crappy skins. Let's be real. I do like good charms because charms are fun. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to put this season five. I'll put an S tier as well. I think it's fair to put in S tier. I do think season five is a little bit worse than season four. Season four just got you so much bang for 
for your buck. Definitely a really good season to buy a battle pass, but I wouldn't put it higher than that. I, th I, do I think it's great though. I do think it's a great season. What a great reactive skin. I'm very happy about it. Next up, we got season six, a notoriously pretty dis disliked season. Okay, season six. Let's see what it has in store for us. Oh, you're right. Season six slapped. Oh my God. Just off the bat, I just remembered the Bloodhound skin. Show the Outlands what you're made of in our all new Battle Pass. With all the usual goodies. These are some really good legendary skins. Oh, this comes with the Volt skin? Yo, this season actually might be better than I thought. Full throttle with Pathfinder and the Roll Cage Sentinel. You tried, and that's all that matters. Or if you've got a score to settle, unleash the Road Warrior and go super sonic on your enemy. Wait, was okay, so that Bloodhound skin is so good, but is that I think it was a G7 Scout reactive skin. So I'll have to see how it goes. This season also brings a new way for legends to leave their mark in the arena. Introducing our all new hollow sprays. Oh, hollow sprays were introduced this season. That's kind of a big deal. People love hollow sprays. I, I personally like hollow sprays as well. I prefer the emotes that were added, but that's pretty, it's a pretty big deal. These deployable markers are the ultimate way to show who's king of the ring. Sorry, did I confuse you? <laughs> And as always, legends can trick out their experience with new music packs, loading screens, banners, gun charms, and a new batch of tricked out skydive emotes. Ooh, I love this one where Revenant turns us up to a death box. That's a pretty great one. Victory is delicious. So gear up and bring the swag. Another fourth. Only with the season six battle pass. You fought with honor. May you ride with the gods. That Bloodhound skin's carrying this season though, let's be honest. Like everything else, like now that I'm thinking about it more, everything else besides like, okay, you got the full throttle Pathfinder skin. It's good, but like, is it like incredible? I feel like Pathfinder has a lot of skins like this, you know? Then you got the Bloodhound skin. Like this one is pretty swaggy, pretty swagalicious. Probably one of the best skins ever made, period. So that that definitely is carrying the season on its back. But everything else is like, is wonky donkey. Like, uh, this Mirage skin is actually pretty cool. Let's talk about the legendary stuff. You got the Roll Cage, pretty good Sentinel skin. I like it. And then we got the G7 Scout one. I don't love this skin. I really don't love this skin. You have to understand something about me, man. Like I, 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 I just don't love how it feels. Like I feel like I feel like I miss my shots more with this. It's not even because of the iron sights. Like the G7 Scouts has bad iron sights no matter what happens. But something about this skin just always rubbed me the wrong way. I, I can't explain it. More crappy common skins. Let's go. Gun charms, of course. All car themed banners. That's kind of nice. Hollow sprays are a mixed bag to me. To me. Hollow sprays are fine. I do like their addition, but the fact that they are considered in the same category, like they're purple tier, I feel like they should be commons. Like, I don't think they should be epic. It's like a little hollow spray, man. Like, I don't know. But yeah, Bloodhound skin, they're carrying this entire season on their back. And uh, otherwise, a, a pretty okay, decent season. I'm gonna put season six above season three. I'm gonna put below season three. I think eight tier. I think bottom of eight tier is, is a fair spot for, for season six. Boosted. It really is a boosted season carried entirely by that Bloodhound drip. I think that's fair. Um, let's move on to season seven, Ascension. Let's get to that battle pass overview. Obviously, right off the bat, you can already see we got the Wraith Funny, the funny futuristic Wraith skin. Look at her little swoopy. And this, one of the best Octane skins, period. Like, I really do like this Octane skin a lot. Rise to new heights as you ascend to Olympus with our all new battle pass. This season takes us into the clouds and brings a certain allure to the games. Teaming with all the usual rewards, legends can adorn a host of lavish new cosmetics. What are the, what are, oh my god. Fast fashion is on display as Octane Okay, so this this Prowler skin is pretty cool. I love this Prowler skin. I think it's one of the best Prowler skins in the game. And his matching Prowler are polished to perfection. Yeah. Yeah. And ready to crash the This whole skin combo is insane. And discover the perfect harmony of <laughs> The Select Fire Havoc, you miss it? Oh my god, you guys are funny. Science and design with high class rate. Looking for me? And the reactive cutting edge R99. So this R9 skin. As always, legends can personally. So this R9 skin, by the way, is a pay to win iron sights. It's phenomenal. It is, in my opinion, the best R9 skin in the game, period. So for that reason alone, like I just thought about it, like this is actually a pretty stacked season. The R9 skin is very, very, very good. It has the best iron sights, period. It also is just, it's a reactive R9, so it's fun to see it like glow and do stuff. So I love that R9 skin. That's a big, that's a big bonus. And the reactive cutting edge R99. 
As always, legends can personalize their experience with new music packs. Yeah, screens, loading screens. Whoa, banners, banners gun, charms. gun charms. A new set of hollow wow. spaces to show off your prowess to your club members. And where better than a floating city to show off those high flying skydiving? Oh, the Nessie. Oh, the bird stuff. I love it. I love it. Season 7's Battle Pass is pretty stacked, actually. I won't lie. I, I was I thought it wasn't going to be as, as strong as I thought, but like, I don't like this raid skin at all. I know you, I know a lot of people do. I do not like this raid skin at all. Kind of giving it some minus points for that. Octane skin is one of the best Octane skins, period. Uh, Everything else is like, fine. This is a really good Prowler skin. I just love how, how it looks. I love its color. And like I said, this these two R9 skins are just so good. Really good iron sets. I love how they, how they like, kind of transform and glow as you get kills with it. I think these skins are insane. Skydive emotes are good. Nothing popped up from the Skydive emotes that like really made me blow my mind. Except for the Nessie. I like Watson holding a Nessie. I think that's cute. Uh, everything else kind of mediocre as usual. In general, this is like a pretty, it's a pretty phenomenal season. I think it'd be a shame to put it any lower than S tier. Just where in S tier in, in general do, do I think it belongs is the question, right? I definitely think it's better than season five. God, season four's gun just carries. Oh man, I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna put it right there in between season four and five in terms of in terms of the and yeah, it's at the top though, but not not the top top. Season four brought some really big stuff to the table. The hype was unreal. You got the best bang for your buck with season four. You get two whole skins that are pay to win. Come on, man, that's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Two good guns too. So we're talking like R9 and Flatline came in season four. So season seven, look, just it just gave you an R9. If you can top that, we'll see how it goes. And the skins are good. The skins are good. That's why it's an S tier. Like I, I'm overall, we're we're I told you most of these are gonna be probably like above a B for the most part, guys. Like we're not gonna see anything too crazy because these are all decent for the most part. I think after a certain point, like. It, when we get to like season eight, which we're talking about right now, Mayhem, how many times can they get away with giving us crappy, like barely even rare stuff? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm i not a fan of that. They nickel and dime us for everything. You, you, you can give us some more stuff in the battle pass, you know? Then again, the battle pass is $10. So I, I shouldn't be complaining too much about like the, the little in-between rare stuff. I just think that they're like not really content, if that makes sense. And I'd rather them just give us more like currency and stuff in between. So we can buy some of the things we actually want to get. You know what I mean? Mayhem time, yeah? Mayhem battle pass, let's go. It's time oh to my god! Bring the boom. <laughs> Who said this is mid? Right off the bat, Bangalore's best skin to date and one of Lifeline's best skins. The box stops with me. And freaking Pirate. Oh, that, that's Pirate Fuse is just. I think that's part of that's just part of the regular season stuff. Jam packed with rewards, chaos reigns as legends take it to the extreme. And it came with a twist. It came with a good 3030 skin that wasn't even legendary, or it was just an epic 3030 skin. This, this, is, this will be the first time that I acknowledge the epic skin because it's a very noticeable improvement. So I gotta give them props to that. New set of cosmetics. Next round's on me. Delve into the dark side of Lifeline as she goes bad to the bone while wreaking havoc with the chain beast flatline. You looking for a rhythm? Oh, that flatline. It really, it's its gonna always suffer from every single time like the, the flatline exists. It's gonna suffer from the fact that season four's flatline is just better. I gotcha, beat. And unleash your Also, I hate chains. I hate when they just put random ass chains on, on things. It bothers me. Inner warlord and take radical action as Bangalore exerts her dominance with the re That skin is so good. Oh, this is the, the reactive skin is a, uh, is a longbow skin. Ah, uh, yeah, this one's pretty forgettable to be completely honest. I actually don't really love this longbow. I don't hate this longbow skin, but it is a forgettable one for sure. Reactive DMR X1 longbow. Too slow on the draw. Legends can take their personal experience to the edge with the dynamite set of new music packs, loading screens, banners, and gun charms. The usual. A new set of quips and hollow sprays bring the swag. Wow, so hollow sprays. The fiery Wait. Skydive emotes. And her drumming on all the stuff is really cool. Okay, this is one of the funniest emotes. I'm so glad that they showcased it. Pathfinder grapples Archer and then, and then it attacks him. It's so funny. It's time to light the fuse and bring the bruise. So let's go full blast into shock and awesome. Didn't you hear, mate? Only with the season. Yeah, the loading screens were also pretty mid this season too. You want to take a swing at fuse. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like this one. I kind of like that one. 
It's pretty nice. But yeah, everything else is like whatever. It's just a bunch of explosions and fire. Let's talk about these skins real quick. Absolute banger skin. Bangalore skin is going to be carrying the rest of this thing. So just just so you know. I like Bad to the Bone. Is it my favorite skin? Not really, but it's good. It's a Groot skin. It's definitely one of the... Actually, what am I saying? I love this skin. I wear it all the time. One of my favorite Lifeline skins. It's it's very good. I very much enjoy it. Uh, Whatever. What, oh, all these things are just so whatever. Whatever. I hate this skin so much. It's probably my least favorite legendary skin that we've seen in the Battle Pass so far. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. It has spikes. It's got chains. I hate you. I don't love this one either. I don't love this one either. Oh my god. Oh, this might be not a good ranking for this. But I will admit, I haven't talked about an epic skin this whole time because I just glanced over because they're so forgettable. I love this 3030 repeater epic skin. I think it's very nice. I think it's very clean. So um, that is a nice addition for because like, I think at the time 3030 just came out. So it's nice to have that. Like right off the bat, you had a cool 3030 skin. The usual crap, the usual crap. Like no one cares about hollow sprays. No one cares about their things if it doesn't if it doesn't move, no one cares, right? And then loading screens, whatever. Um, honestly, besides Bangalore skin, this is not the best. Like, I'd probably put it in B or even C tier, honestly. I'll put it in B tier. I think it's still better than season two and it has a lot more stuff that is good. That's not true though. The only thing good is the Bangalore skin really and the Lifeline skin is really good too. The Lifeline skin is really good. Okay, sorry. B tier is fair. The Legend skins are the only thing that are that are holding this thing afloat. B tier I think is fair for this season. I think Mayhem caused a little bit of mayhem right there in the tiering system, but I think B tier is fair. Can we agree? If you disagree, let me know in the comments down below because it's going to be a video chat. Moving on to Legacy, which is season nine. It's funny we're getting more and more recent but like i feel like some of the stuff that they gave us is pretty we're pretty mid I am the sky. that's pretty cool leave a lasting legacy with the new battle god pass. i love Val. there's nowhere to hide in the arenas so you'll want to arrive looking your best show the outlands you're not afraid of the fight with a fearsome new set of stylish cosmetics prepared and ready ready for this dance I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This this rate skin, I don't love it. I wish that she can close her mask. She's wearing a mask, right? But she's wearing it like this, and it's like, come on, man, just put it on. Just, just put it on. But no, she decided like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have it on the, I'm just gonna have it on the side. And it's like, why? That kills this this skin for me. Prepared and ready. Ready for this dance? This this rampart skin is also like kind of forgettable. Oh my god, this is actually this might be a low tier season, my dude. Yeah, this rampart skin is very forgettable. This dance? Outfox your opponents as crafty Kitsune Rampart and close in for the kill with the reactive bound. Oh, I hate this reactive skin, I think. I hate a strong word. I don't know if I love this Bone reactive skin. Devotion. Looking for me. And like it's cool, but it's weird. Terrorize your enemies as demons whisper wraith before striking with the way of the serpent spitfire. Here I am. Define your legacy with an unforgettable set of new music packs, loading screens, banners, and gun charms. A fresh set of hollow sprays and quips lets you tastefully dance on the grave of anyone who dared oppose you. Okay. And make a lasting impression with new skydive emotes as you streak towards the creeping gloats enveloping Olympus. Be like me, a maverick. It's time to discover whether you're predator or prey. So suit up and make a name for yourself with the Legacy Battle Pass. Wanna fly? I make a great wingman. Cool. Yeah, this might be a pretty weak season. Like, I love the season in general, but like the, the actual stuff you get in the Battle Pass, like, I don't dislike this skin. I think this skin's good, but it's like kind of forgettable. It's a good skin. Is it a, is it a banger skin? Is it going to like blow your mind? Heck no, right? Like, it's a good skin, but not, is it enough? And uh, I've already said my piece on this, on this Wraith skin. Fine. Uh, fine. Uh, whatever. Then you got this Wave of the Serpent Spitfire skin, and it's like, it's good. It's a good skin, but it's like, something always feels off about it, you know? Now, this is probably the best skin. It matches the Wraith pretty well. So this is a good skin. This reactive skin is a little weird. It's like a snake, a little creepy, a little creepy looking skin. It is reactive and it's nice in that sense. But uh, yeah, not, not much, not much going on for this thing. Not much going on for this season so far. Oof, oof. And we just got a bunch of the same crap over and over again, man. Yeah, this might be this first season in a while. Legacy going in seats here for disappointment. They dropped one of the best legends in this season, which is Valkyrie. And they dropped Arenas, which at the time was very hype. But the battle pass didn't really... Uh, I didn't really hold up. I think that's a fair place to put it. I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna say about that, okay? Let's move on to season 10, Emergence with Seer. What a forgettable se Oh, I hate this season. Yo, this might be the one of the lowest ranked seasons. Oh, I hated this. You know, every season has a theme. This season's theme, for some god awful f***ing reason, is bugs. They themed after bugs. Welcome to the opening 
The legends are a sight to behold as they It's a good epic skin. Good epic skin for uh, for for, for Seer. With more rewards than ever before, legends will mesmerize their God, I hate a breathtaking new set Oh, I hate Valk cosmetics. skins. This is going to be fun. I hate Horizon skin. I hate these skins, gold, dude. Seer brings precision to his spectacle with his winged son 3030. That's a nice 3032. I do like the 3030 and I do like this uh this skin. Brutal and beautiful. Valkyrie expands her wings into a new aerial evolution as she takes flight with her temporal scale flatline. <laughs> Boom. Impressive, right? Yeah, so this Val that Valk skin gives me nightmares. It's stuff. Of, it's the stuff of nightmares, chat. Look at that face. I'm sorry, I hate this. And Horizon sparks her brilliance into the biotic luminary. Off and away, Newty. Creating a symbiotic relationship with the new reactive Volt. Okay, so the Volt is cool. So of all the things that are bug themed, biotic. the Volt is definitely the coolest one. Like, I know like the little finger thing can be like, if you got arachnophobia, that's gonna really uh, uh, upset you. I feel like the creepy crawly aspect really gets to you, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing it. Look, guys, I'm a vault. Anyway, it's a, it's a good vault skin, but it's it is weird. It is definitely weird. Always a pleasure, love. A theme set of music packs, loading screens, banners, and gun charm continues to let legends personalize their experience. Leave a lasting impression with more hollow sprays, quips. More hollow sprays? What? Not more hollow sprays. Look at all those hollow sprays. Look, I'm a hollow spray over here. Look at the hollow spray over here. They're multiplying like crazy. Look at all these hollow sprays. Wow. So many hollow sprays. <gasps> quips. Knock, knock. I'm here. And entice your fans with mesmerizing new emotes as you endeavor to survive on a decimated world's end. Wait, is this when they added emotes? Now to the heart of the matter. Beauty shows itself I think this is a season where they added emotes. I gotta know. Not yet. There's only one skydive emote. They got more hollow sprays, but one skydive emote. Everything is bug themed. The only thing that's kind of nice is the Volt skin, but even then it's really creepy. At least the Ling Sun is nice. Uh, that's whatever. I hate this skin with a passion. I want to kill it with fire. I absolutely hate this skin. Somehow this skin's worse. I hate it so much. Everything else is garbage. Holy crap. With the exception of the Volt, which is at least decent. And the fact that they got less skydive- We got less skydive emotes? Are you kidding me? D tier. Emergence is a D tier battle pass. Absolutely garbage. Not the worst. Season 1 definitely <laughs> takes the cake for actual lack of content here. But my god. Season 10 Emergence really dropped the ball there. There's a reason why people really did not like Season 10 that much. Let's see how- let's see if Season 11 kind of makes a comeback here, huh? How do you survive the Oh, we're on Storm Point now? Let's go. Storm Point. You oh! Emotes! Finally! This is actually great. That's a big that's a big plus. And the best way to do that is with the all-new Escape Battle Pass. Thrive on Storm Point's sandy beaches with Mirage and his legendary Desert Mirage. I like this theme. It's like a, it's like the Star Wars island space theme, th and I, I really enjoy it. People don't like Mirage's skin, but I I really like Mirage's skin, dude. Like some people don't like the skin. Legendary but I really do. Yeah, look at that skin, dude. Look at that. Ah, oh, I love it. I think it's sick. They did drop the ball here. You're 100% right. This could have been beach themed. We could have finally got the ever wanted bikini skin for guess who? Gibby. Anyone that wrote Loba, you got problems. You got problems. But yeah. They, they did drop the ball. There should have been beach themed skins. Don't worry, my brother. I got you. Gibraltar prepares for the fight of his life in the legendary glorious combatant. Shake off your enemy. The Gibby skin's pretty cool too, but yeah, it's like these two are fine. Like, I think the Mirage one's really cool. The Gibby one is not as cool at all. Kind of looks really cringe, to be honest. And they really dropped the ball here. It could have been beach themed. It could have been beach themed. With the Bucking Bronco 3030. Yeah, and they could have also released shirtless views. Today is going to be our day. Each choice changes everything. Vision Walker Wraith looks to the future with her anti-up Volt. I'm just getting started. And to the past with the Compound Fracture bow check. Good choice for me. At least you got a bow check skin, which is kind of nice. And no matter who you venture into the depths of the island with, 
strike fear into the hearts of your prey with the reactor. This reactive prowler skin is pretty good. This reactive prowler skin is pretty good. Survive in style as you customize your experience with new music packs, loading screens, banners, and gun charms. Leave only hollow sprays, make only quips. You give me hope that the meek won't inherit the Oh Jesus. And laugh in the face of danger with new emotes. Look at the emotes! Do not cross me, or my blade will cross you. Storm point is dangerous. Those emotes look really cool. So are you. Another enemy falls. Survive if you can. Only with the escape battle pass. Why is it not showing the amount of emotes we got? We got one sky emote, which is a Valkyrie sky emote. What emotes did we get? Did we get any emotes? It's, it said we got emotes, right? Emote, the light bombastic. So we did get emotes. Oh, the side doesn't show emotes. Oh my god, wait, that could that could change things then. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go back to season 10 for so real quick. Season 10 had emotes. Does that save season 10 from being crappy? Let's see how many emotes it gave us. Octane emote. They gave you one emote. My god, season 10 is garbage. Okay, sorry, back to season 11. I'm so sorry, guys. I just had to make sure. I had to make sure season 10 was still garbage, okay? Let's see how many emotes we get this time around, though. We got one emote, the light bombastic. That's pretty cool. It's a, a wraith emote. And that's it. Wow. They really are going to do this crap where they give us one emote and one sky of emote when they gave out five other seasons or three other seasons, you know? But look, at least we got all these hollow sprays. These loading transitions are really cool. I love this one in particular. So some of these transitions are pretty cool. More weapon charms. Oh my God. They give us more charms and more hollow sprays. It's like, it's insane. Let's see. So this is the compound fracture is a pretty decent bow check skin. I do enjoy that. Pipe dream is a good prowler skin, but is it phenomenal? Not at all by any means. I actually do like this R301 skin. Everything else is forgettable. This legendary skin is a really cringe looking Gibby skin. I don't like it that much. It's not bad. It's not great either. Uh, the, I do love the Desert Mirage skin. So that's pretty nice. Yeah. Most of these skins kind of suck. It's bad. It's pretty bad. It's not it's not great. It's not emergence bad, but it's bad. I don't know how the battle pass has got it got worse, but they did. I'd probably put it in the bottom of C tier. Wow. Like a technically passing grade. I'm saying like C minus. I cannot believe the battle passes have somehow gotten worse, which is like fascinating to me, right, chat? I, I actually didn't think that's how it'd go down, but legitimately, I feel like the value you're getting is like not is lesser every every season. Or these last couple seasons at least. Let's see if we get more emotes in season 12. I know what I came for. When you're backed against the ring and death smiles okay 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 i love this loba skin and show them what i do love this loba skin are. she's such a cutie oh this seer skin is also really nice and it comes with a Yuma shotgun skin too right legendary outfit breaking the law All nice for me nobody runs those wingman skins dude unlocking sets of matching items and trackers nice the competition looks as fierce as they do okay ah. ash crypto and lifeline All there's some pretty good skins here showcase their new epic skins loaded with cosmetics Master that's cool they have like matching they have a matching skin together which is pretty nice gentleman baller and screen machine reactive hemlocks this hemlock skin is really nice i do enjoy the hemlock skin a lot loading screens, loading screens emotes, emotes. Banners, wait whoa, 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 whoa. that emotes the best emote in the freaking game dude caustic boxing came in this battle pass okay that's pretty good it's pretty good emotes banners and gun charms it's got time i'll be damned all the way to hell and back before the likes of you kills the likes of me when the that's a cool peacekeeper down, skin what the heck keep your chin up and your i don't remember down. that peacekeeper skin i'm here for one thing be the last one standing proud with the defiance battle pass I don't remember any of these things. This is actually not, this is, seems like a really good return to form. Heck yeah. Way more, way better skins this time around. Holy crap. They knew, they knew that these last two seasons took a hard dive. Let's see how many emotes we got. Besides obviously the caustic box and the, the caustic trap is pretty, is pretty fire. So yeah, we got the emote knockout gas. That's one. Okay. Got two. We got two emotes. Primal nature is a pretty good one. I think that's the one with Bloodhound like, I'm like, ah, like going crazy. So two emotes, not bad. And two skydive emotes, both for Mad Maggie. That's huge. I love when you get skydive most for the new character that because it's like encourage you to buy and try the new character so that's sick we got a little bit less hollow sprays that's great we <laughs> less is more we got less banner frames that's also great a little you know same amount of charms still the same amount of like this stuff you know and nothing seems to change there but but a pretty decent epic car skin and look at this reactive hemlock skin it's gorgeous it's gorgeous
torches and the rolling thunder. I actually don't even have this hemlock skin yet because I haven't finished the battle pass yet, but it, it's good. It's good. I do enjoy this Eva skin a lot too. Wow, what a solid return to form. I'm, and then like these skins, decent legendary seer skin. I do like it. I like the how his hair looks. Love this Loba skin. I don't have to explain it. This is a pretty good epic skin for Ash as well. And like, I love that you and your whole homeboys can all match. Like you can be like crypto with this skin. You can be like lifeline with the skin that they're all like matching this punk vibe. And I love that they started implementing that because like the idea that you're playing with your friends and you're matching and stuff is really cool. I'm a big fan of this season. I think this season is a good return to form. I would probably put you in like eight tier, like right there, a little below season six. I think eight tier is fair. Like low eight tier, like A minus high B. I think that's fair. Woo! Oh my God, we did it chat. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, consider subscribing on YouTube. Play the outro theme song now.